on the divestment uh, and the review on, on our assets. Uh, I think it's important to understand what it is and what it is not. I think we've said very clearly what it is not is trying to take very large parts of the company and, and, and breaking them off and, and, and selling those. We have gone through a very rigorous process of dividing up the company into about 100 uh, selected assets and evaluating if each of those 100 assets is actually returning the kind of uh, return on investment on the capital that, that we would prefer to see. If you, if you remember what Bongani said, um, we think, or it might have been Paul as well, we think we'll generate probably greater than one billion US dollars in terms of assets that we actually go to market. Now this is on a, a company that has a market cap between 25 and 30 billion US dollars. So you can see the, the size of what we're talking about. What comes out of the process is of course some assets that you decide you're gonna go to market, but in addition, assets where you see opportunities to improve their profitability and raise their return. So you get benefits in those that you retain and you get benefits in terms of return on capital if, if uh, you are able to sell an asset that doesn't meet your, your internal target. The only one that we have announced to the market uh, is the Canadian uh, Shell uh, gas assets in, in Canada. Um, the uh, we've been clear that we've, we've started the process, we're engaging a financial advisor, but we can't, we can't tell you ahead of time and we can't go uh, for, for obvious reasons and predict where it will be in terms of geography, which assets it will be. I can share with you, we're about 70% through with our analysis. Mm -hmm. uh, and as I've said, we're going to uh, end up, we believe, uh, with the amount of divestments being generating about 1 billion US. Uh, on a principal basis, when you sell an asset uh, like, uh, the, like the Canadian asset, it's quite important that your advisor uh, technically and also from a business track perspective has deep knowledge in terms of the US, but predominantly uh, in, the, uh, in terms of the Canadian gas market. So I'm not at liberty and will not reveal the name of the advisor yet. Uh, we are really at the start of the process. But as I've said, you know, once we make more you know, progress in terms of the deal, well, uh, ultimately, you know, these advisors' names are, you know, published. Uh, I think they also want it, but uh, where we are now is, so we will not disclose yet, but we have appointed a very strong in-country uh, advisor, and we're quite comfortable with the feedback that we've uh, uh, received thus far in terms of the, the process.